right, it's time for the best part of the day. Zelda, I have exercise. I have done my Hungarian lesson. I have uh, exfoliated and taken a bath, and now I'm here. Um, anyways, my name is Ian. If you haven't clicked on the video, I am playing Zelda games for the first time. So here is Skyward Sword, and we're about to get to the Temple of Time. Now, now, I was told by Gothic that there is a bench. Oh, it's a little stool. All right, we will do this to quell the masses, to appease them. A little break. Anyways, so on my run today, I, I went out, I ran a mile. Just a quick, like a, not a quick mile, but like a slow, lazy mile, just to get some uh, active zone minutes. And uh, I'm running under this overpass by my house. And I'm like, why does it look so damn foggy up there? I'm like, maybe they are doing construction there. Maybe it's construction work. And then I I'm, I have my uh, noise-canceling earbuds in, which, by the way, if you have a way... Like, if you have weird ears like me and one ear doesn't hold an earbud in and the other one does, you got tips, please share them, because it drives me nuts. But anyways, so I'm, I can't hear anything. And I'm running, and I'm like, oh, it's mist. Maybe it's like, you know, where the laundry machines come out or something. And then... All of a sudden, water just whoosh, explodes. It must like a pipe must have burst or something. Just completely drenched me. So that was how my day went. But on the other side, my uh, Hungarian teacher did say I had a lot of improvement from last week. So uh, that's also a good thing. Um, all right, before we go in there, let's just do a lap and see if anything interesting is out here. Um, but yeah, hopefully everyone else is day is going good. Um, I'm trying to think of if anything else happened. Oh, um, yeah, I have been wondering this and I've been taking baths more recently. Wait, I'll wait till this cutscene ends. Spooky? So, I've been- I've always been a shower person. It's really hard to wash this hair without good water pressure. Leniru Mining Facility. Alright, we're in. Oh, look at those little guys! Are those the damn- the bots from Skyward Sword and all that? But, um... Yeah, but I actually read some stuff about how like, bathing is better for your skin, your blood pressure and stuff, so if you have a chance to take a bath and you don't need, like, the water pressure for your hair, um, you know, take a bath. So I've been trying to take baths every once in a while with Epsom salt. So I'm just wondering if people are more... Ah! More... Get off me! More fond of baths, or if you're, like, one, you do both, or, you know, this is a new part of my life. Alright, save. There we go. Save. Okay, let's see what's going on here. First, I would I would like you to tell me about this. Araka. This larval monster is said to live for a thousand years, during which time it is continually growing. Though the larvae is small in size, it is quite ferocious and is often found in swarms beneath the sand. It tends to leap towards moving objects such as yourself. You defeated one. Okay. Get out of here, stinky. Okay. Kobe. But yeah, um, wizard, you said you went to see poor things. Um, hopefully you liked it. I thought it was a great movie. Uh, it's like... So far in my top three, I have three movies left to watch um, from the Best Picture nominees, like I said last time. Um, but my favorite at this time is Anatomy of a Fall or Anatomy Do Shoot. Okay. Kobe. Also, both my cats have been very, 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 very needy today. So we might get some more cat action today. One of them's back here, just off camera, staring at me like she wants to cause some trouble. Ah, okay, okay. So, we go like, bam. Oh, 
I didn't even see the little little arachnid guy. Oh, come on. All right, they made this extra annoying for some reason. There we go. The holy bomb flower. First, get rid of that jerk. Yes, well. Hi. Please, um, don't claw my shirt. That's an expensive anime shirt. What are you doing? You being naughty? Sorry, the camera's probably making people dizzy. Hold on. Come here. Gizmo, you wanna come sit with me? You can do it. I trust you. No? Alright. She's just marking her scent on my shirt, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Link is yawning. Probably boring everybody with, with cats. Skirt! Alright, next step. Grab this one. Alright, we've done it. I need to figure out... Oh! There's a sign by it that says drop bomb on... on... Shit. I can see my cat and I'm just worried she's gonna start clawing my shirt. Anyone else a fan of Yu Yu Hakusho? What a banger anime. What does that sign mean? <laughs> oh, that's not a bomb. That's one of those little aliens. Or not even aliens. Robots. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. So. Yeah, it gives me. You get. Okay, do you want to come in my lap? Here she comes! She's been napping all day. Hey, come here! Come on! Yeah, yeah! Come on! Come on! Hi! Hold on. We gotta get some cat action in here. No! Come back! Oh, she left. Uh, okay. No more distractions. We're getting stuff done today. Um... Okay, so... Well, the <laughs> Joy-Con is fucked now. Thanks, Gizmo. Oops. Right. Alright, first let's get rid of these dweebs. Get out of here, stinky. Then... Like, look at this. Okay. Um... There we go. That's a little better. God dang it. We're gonna spend the rest of the recording here. Gotta go. And then, what's going on back here? Is anything going on back here? No, Link, you were so close! Just pull yourself up. Alright. Obviously not where we're supposed to go yet. So. Hello? You stinky, stinky. Oh, they can be up. Okay, good to know. This door is locked. It shows like pulling on the switch, but how do I pull on the switch? Like this thing can't do it, right? Let me, let me do a little reconnaissance, a little reconnoitering. Oh. Well, 
Well, I killed one of them. Chest in there. Like, I can't do anything with it, right? I can just run up the wall and grab onto it. I thought I needed, like, a special item. Okay. Now, the question is... Can I make it to this one? He's done it. I see you guys in there. You guys want some attention just like my cats? Here's that attention you ordered. Hi. Oh, they dropped slime junk. Gunk. Sick. Okay. We're starting to, to figure this out a little bit. It's also very hot in Atlanta today, even though like Atlanta is kind of always hot, you know? For this time of year, it's it's hot. Okay, there's a chest in here. Yo, actually, does anybody watching this, and someone statistically has got it because it's so popular, watch Jujutsu Kaisen? Um, sometimes I think I'm cursed because, like, <laughs> I like clothes. I like fashion. Um, if I had a voice, it would probably be that. That and whiskey. Um, but, uh, Final Fantasy VII is my favorite game, and I- Oh, crap, it's one of those things. It's two of those things. I saw, um, um, a bracelet, uh, that was the materia from Final Fantasy VII. It was like handmade and nice on Etsy. That was like $40, seems like a deal. I'll buy one of those. Um, I'm also cursed with comically small uh, uh, wrists. So, uh, there we go. Um, measuring myself for stuff is really hard. Like the ring I wear on my uh, pointer finger that my girlfriend got me that I'm not wearing right now. I forgot to put it on after the shower. Um, was, uh, very hard to size. And in fact, I needed, like, a weird half size, so there's, like, a piece of fabric in the middle of it that they put in that holds it, that gives me, like, a half size. Um, and so, like, I've been, I've been re-upping my closet, making myself feel good, making, having fun, making outfits when I go out. Um, and so I spent $50 on that bracelet, and I was like, you know, totally worth it. Then, I'm scrolling through TikTok uh, yesterday, or yesterday, and if you know who Gojo is from Jujutsu Kaisen, 10 bombs. Throw them or roll them to blow things up. Into your bomb bag they go. Um, uh, there's a sweater of him that I really like, and it's limited edition. And I was like, man, I should not spend this money. But I think I got to spend this money. And I think, you know, the philosophy of buy things that make you happy because you can't take your money with you is a good one to have. As long as you're paying your bills and taking care of your other obligations, obviously. Also, um, what's another question I had that I thought about this last night is what's everyone reading? I'm currently reading, it's actually right here, because I was reading it this morning. Uh, On Earth We Are Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vong. Very beautiful and powerful, like, poetic prose uh, about a boy writing to his mother in English even though she can't read English. Um, oh, hello. Go bzzz. Take that. Um. No. You again? How many times do I have to teach this old man a lesson? No! My goo! Um. Yeah. Uh. 
So, highly recommend that if you're interested and you're looking for something to read. It's a quick read. It's only like 270 pages long and I read like 50 pages this morning before I got out of bed. Joy-Con, I am begging you. Begging you to be kind to me. Can I like bomb these and then they fall or something? It did open something up. Okay, hold on. Let's let's try this again. Let's recalibrate this one specifically, the one that's not being nice to me. Controllers and settings. Take the strap off. <laughs> Calibrate controllers. Pop you down. Take a cup of tea, a sip of tea. So, me and my girlfriend are big D&D &D people. And, um, two of our friends uh, got us these, like, they're, they're critical role characters. Um, like, but like coffee and tea based off of those characters. And can I make this jump? I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh he caught on. Um, get out of here. Um, and so, uh, it had what well, in it was called an orange awakening spiced tea. I loved it. I was like, I could replace English breakfast with this because sometimes I'm in the mood for English breakfast and sometimes I'm not. Um, I could drink this every day. And then I drank all of it, and then when we went to the store, uh, they didn't have anything similar. They had orange herbal teas, but I wanted something with a little caffeine in it. Um, and so, uh, we found this tea that is orange and it has caffeine in it. Um, it's not as good as the other one, but it's still pretty good. Okay, what the heck am I supposed to do now? Um... But, uh... Wait, was there a ladder there that whole time? I'm blind. Oh, I see. Um... So, uh... Oh, we survived! Um... T. Uh... I was reading the box. It's got, like, 70 milligrams of caffeine in it or something. Which is not bad, right? That's like, if you drank, like, two of them, you would have, like, just over a cup of coffee. Um, I don't drink coffee. Uh, but... It says to drink four to five cups... Oh, you... You... There was two there. And then I jumped to my death. Oops! Um, I was like, five cups of coffee? It doesn't like the, the lethal Panera lemonade have like 200 milligrams in it? That, that shit is like, that, that would be like 300 something. 71, 40, 210. Oh my god. Joy-Con! What's happening? Um... So, uh, right, 70, 140, 210 is 3, 280 is 4, it's like 350. I don't think that's, like, if you're fairly healthy, right, and you don't chug it all at once, like, that's, that's an survivable amount of caffeine. Is that one metal? Um, but, like, five cups of that is crazy. Like, I usually drink one cup of it, and then with dinner I have a Pepsi Max, which may or not be worse for you than regular Pepsi, but I think it tastes better, and you gotta have some voices. Oh, I gotta come around the other way for that, don't I? That's metal. Oh, uh, but man, I was like, I did not need caffeine that bad. How do people feel about energy drinks? I used to drink them fairly often, but now I don't, now that I work from home. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, focus up. Me. <laughs> I'd 
wondering if I could go down there. Okay, what am I missing? <laughs> Like, I can't go up here. So I've got to figure out a way to get over there first. We don't go this way, I think. What am I missing? Fly. Like, I have this flat right now and it's veering to the left. Am I supposed to cut this rope? If I could hit it. That's not rope. Um. Okay, what about this? What if we bomb these sand piles? Said the stormtroopers when they attacked Tatooine. I feel like that should work. There's clearly a minecart in there. That's not what we're supposed to do. See if that works. <laughs> what do you want from me, game? I'm in this room, and there's a locked door in there, obviously. I got a small key for it. This must be so frustrating to watch. I'm here rambling about caffeine instead of... Wait. Ah! Okay, I gotta go around. I'm dumb. I didn't even think about this door. Okay. But yeah, I used to... What the heck are you? You called for me, man. I want. I want to know about the the spiny fish. Froak. Though it's, this odd creature is cowardly by nature, it will expose an array of densely packed defensive spines when approached or provoked. My Fitbit just. My watch told me to take 21 more steps this hour. So. Oh my god, he explodes? Did I gloss over that while I was reading? I thought he would just poke me. So what if I do this? Take that. I'm gonna try and use the beetle as little as possible. But it was working okay until I got distracted by Gizmo and was like, Hey, you wanna come be cute on camera and get us the the hella good ratings? And now it's all messed up. And now she's sleeping on my spot on the couch. One down. But yeah, okay, so I used to drink one energy drink some mornings when I was particularly tired when I was opening the store at Barnes & Noble as a manager. Um, and then if I wa- I can't believe I missed that. If I wanted to stay up late on the day where I had the next day off and I was gaming or reading or something, I would buy an energy drink. But I haven't really bought any because I just kind of was like, 
Why am I buying these? Like, do I really need this much caffeine to stay awake? You know? Um, so I haven't had one in a long time. But I feel like I've gotten more sensitive to caffeine over time. Hello. Okay, you take that, punk. Alright, we need, like, wire cutters or something? This is another dead end, right? Well, no, I just need a bomb. And I do see a bomb. Okay. Now that uh, I'm on the right track, we will... Why? Joy-Con. It always wants to pull slightly more right than it should. We got that one. And over we go. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about caffeine anymore. Like, even the Pepsi Max I drink has 35 milligrams of caffeine. And I'm like, why? <laughs> I guess, like, partly caffeine is just natural, you know? Like, it's in stuff. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We must call upon the dreaded beetle one more time. There we go. Now, are these things going to try and murder me? It's a BMOS! Ancient security mechanism is weak point the eye. Strike high targets, conversely, lower to the height that your sword can reach. Okay. Can I, can I slap off the bottom part of it? What? I slap- Oh, I got a- Okay, um, it doesn't work. There we go. It wasn't jabbing. I, you saw me. I, I was on point with that one. Okay, um... You get out of here, stinky. You do be dropping blue rupees. Alright, now what are we doing? I have hit my 250 step goal. I count swinging my sword in this game as steps. I feel like that's it's a little bit of an arm workout. Or is that, uh, insincere? <laughs> I don't know. I'm doing, like, movement and stuff. There's no way I can outrun that. <laughs> Up we go. across that. I really thought it would just sweep me away. I thought it would sweep me off my feet in the way that Zelda hasn't yet. Okay. Skirt! Alright, does there's one coming? Keep dodging. 
He's done it. Man, I've been doing this for half an hour already. I've been rambling today. I'm like in a talkative mood. <laughs> Get out of here. This is my dungeon now. You can't have it. The chest there? Hello. I would like some hearts, please. Or a bench. Oh my god. I thought I fucked up, but he caught it. I mean, I guess I did fuck up. He just saved me. Keep it going. Zigging. Zagging. Nothing will bring me down like Wicked. Look at that. No problem. Now that door is open for me. You know... Ow. Uh oh. The... Zelda universe seems like one of like majestic discovery and exploration and also just like one of nightmarish puzzles Like the book my girlfriend picked for our last book of the month had a lot of riddles in it. She loves riddles I hate them. I hate that you can twist riddles to kind of have any answer you want But then they're like no, you're wrong. That's the my answer is the right answer Okay, first we gotta Gotta try and get rid of this guy I thought I could jump that far. I cannot. Ah! You two get away from me. That's gonna have a trap on it. It's so uh, I was gonna say at some point, but it has it now. Hey guys. By the time I go back to the Sky Village, though, I'll probably be close to, um, uh, having enough to buy something from Beetle. Alright, um... Oops. Link, use the ladder! Alright, I can make this jump. <laughs> Go away! Is he getting closer to me? Nope. He's a coward. Get... Oh, God! <laughs> You know what? Go back this way. Take that. That's what you get for being a little jerk. Yeet. Oh, it rolled over the edge? I thought I was so certain it was in the right spot. Oh god, look at it. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? Why did I blow you up? Hello. Nope. I was like, maybe I can jump from there far enough to make it. Tis not true. Okay. But what if we keep going this way? I hate you. <laughs> okay. 
Please explode. Also, so, you know, I am really enjoying playing this game, as, uh, probably evidenced by I try to record an episode almost every day. Um, but I was thinking about Alice, AJ, and I was like, I don't know if I should, you know, focus on this game, um, and beat it, and then play Alice, and then after that we'll figure out what to play next. Or if I should, um, you know... Bounce around between games. He missed! Okay, give me that. You know, I was like, maybe I do Link or Link. Oh, this blue. No, never mind. I thought this was the, the feather from the Game Boy games, unless you jump. Um. But I was like, you know, I could also do like Zelda L, Zelda L every other day. And then that would give us some diversity. But, I, th I think I would be playing both games for like, you know, a while. Oh, I didn't even see you. Um, as opposed to like, making substantial progress in one. So, I don't know. I think there's advantages to both. I also had the idea... Because... I kind of think... There hasn't been a good Pokemon game since like... Since like... Gen 4. Um, so I was like, maybe I could do a replay of Pokemon Gold and Silver, which is my favorite gen, and see if it's like childhood nostalgia that makes me like it so much, or if it's actually just a great game. Oh, now I can make uh, wind pa pass gas. <laughs> Okay. But like, so if I like, no, not you. This thing. I feel like a Ghostbuster. Who are you gonna call? Hey, get out of here. Of love this, bro. Go away. <laughs> you go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Oh, and they explode, so I can use them to explode the stuff. This one. Oh god! I saw the spikes, it scared the hell out of me. Alright, move this, because it's a shortcut. Oops, I almost went with it. We've, we've gone from uh, me being baffled to me being the greatest to ever do it. Being the Lionel Messi of Zelda. Oop. Okay, so this is probably going to take me into that other room where I couldn't do anything. Aha! Get out of my way. So, now, this is probably one of those other things where you guys are going to yell at me. Um, or I should use better gender neutral pronouns. Like, everyone is going to tell me in the comments to, uh... Oh, God, hello. Um, make sure you blow every sand pit, uh, so that you get resources. Happens if I. I wanted to see what happened if I used it on you. 
<laughs> He's like, it's a nice little bath. Okay, there we go. And we're back here now. So what the uh, heck am I doing now? Well, first we're saving. Now why? Oh, why? Would this air thingy make it easier for me to progress in this room. Nope. Okay. Am I missing something back here? Like, I think... That way's still closed. Get out of here. You get out of here. You get out of here. I'll take this though. Right, I can push that to get up there. Now, why do I want this one over here? How does this help me? Is there a switch? Ah, there's probably a switch. I knew it. And then... Put you here. Now we can get going that way. It looked like he had a spike on his head for a second, and it honestly scared me a little. Yeah, here. So I almost have every tool in the game, it looks like. I keep doing this on accident. Let's get over here then. <laughs> he was doing a little cat butt wiggles. It makes such a pleasant noise when you do it. So this looks like a job for the Tales of the Beetle Bard. Oh, you lucky so-and-so. Those ones in the... In the, uh... These things in the middle. They look like fans to me. Like, you should be able to blow them and they'll rotate. You know, we're coming for you. Get that guy, too. No one's safe. I always keep the peace on me. I was so close. Alright, we can... We can just run over here and, and stab this jabroni. Okay. Now. That's a fan. 
If I've ever seen one. No! Pouch. I... That's not the pouch I wanted. There we go. I really thought I, that was what I was supposed to do. Oh, I bet I'm supposed to go over here. I was like, I knew there was gonna be a jerk in there. Go away. When I go back in time, will he disappear? <laughs> Maybe? There we go. Okay. Now this doesn't... It does! Interesting. This is a very clever dungeon. down here and get murdered get unalived as the youth are saying these days I saw that almost ran right by it okay so now we're here what was that no oh, god what do I do how do I kill you? Centro. Security drone was built in ancient times. It's armed with missiles fired from a central turret. Uh, and flying bombs fired from both sides. Can I blow the, the, the missiles back at them? Ow. I feel like I'm playing Bop It. Please. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, that didn't work. Hold on. No! This is, I don't like this. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Easier than I thought. No! Stinky bombs. Okay, I can just cut the bomb down. Hey, he's leaving. Go back here. All right, we got him. Holy crap, he drops a lot of money. Um, that is a dangerous enemy. Get this going down here. I will be on the lookout for a bench, hopefully. Oh my god. Please. What is happening, Joy Cons? Okay, 
we made it. Now, keep me going. I want the chest, please. Yeah, we did it. The compass, the map, probably. Nope, just the monster horn. Now, while I'm up here... That will take me back to the time crystal. So I think... I want to do this. if we had a society where everyone had to carry around their own vacuum and then use these to move themselves. Honestly, it might be more energy efficient than our current society, but it would also be hilarious to see someone just like carry a vacuum cleaner with them. Alright, now. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Into the state. He only has one eye. Oh, come on, man. Oh, my God. Alright, one down. The other one got bored? I want this Ruby. Ruby. I killed you. I thought they had all been cut off. That's a sentry. Some jerks. Not what I wanted in the game, and you know it. Okay, so looks like we gotta go bam. I kind of wish I had a room like this with just a big metal cube that I could push back and forth for strength training. I've been running less, but doing more indoor cardio with some strength training workouts in the middle. Um, like, like, you know, in the interval, so like 45 seconds on, 30 seconds off, but different cardio and, like, push-ups and stuff. It'd be kind of cool just to have a big cube I could push around to try and, uh, get some exercise. I'll take that. The dreaded blooping has stopped. Alright, um... I accidentally missed. Give me the money. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> now, I always want to hold it because I wanted to just come out and turn on, you know? Alright, that was not the switch. Is it in this corner? Nope, just some seeds. Um. Alright, I'm missing something. Oh, wait, maybe it's in here? 
It is... Can I... Oh wait, S seeds, seeds, that's why they gave me seeds. I forgot about the slingshot. All right, ne <laughs> next um, recording, I'm gonna try switching out the Joy-Cons again. Because you're seeing this, like... <laughs> there we go, he's done it! Hello, oh, what the heck? Armos. Security and defense mechanism was developed long ago. It will attack anything that enters the security perimeter. Its weak point is its mouth. It requires a specific measure to make it open its mouth. How do I make you open your mouth? Probably... This. Wait, what? Ah! No! Leave me alone! Okay, we got one down. Ah! He's mad! I've made him angry! You ever- Ah! You ever played, um, Spelunky? I don't know why, he kind of reminds me of Ol Olbep, or Olbop. Oh, I got a stab! I see, I see! Oh. Go away. But we got there. Please, I would like to collect my hearts. It's the day after Valentine's Day. All of my uh, heartbreaking is done. There we go. We got the map. Okay, only a few more rooms. The dungeons in this are definitely so far not as big as an Ocarina and Majora. Alright. So now... Oh, I'm on the other side of this door! We've done it. This is the perfect place to pause. Well, we made some progress. Uh, I rambled a lot. Hopefully you had a good time. Next time, hopefully we finish this dungeon and see what's going on. Uh, maybe someday we'll get to see Gizmo on camera. She does like attention, but she's a little weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as always, do the whole like, comment, subscribe thing. Uh, do a front flip like Link if you can, and I'll see you next time.